Good morning guys and welcome back to this session where we are still adding the beads. I did take some time out earlier to put a few of these beads on here and right now I am looking for some that I had made yesterday but that I had not got loaded up. So um, the revised set were nice but the old set, the original set that I made turns out to me to actually be better um, beads. So I'm still putting these rings on and by the end of this session I'm hoping that we will be adding um, the string and moving forward. Um, I didn't realize it would take this long so if you are going to make these for yourself take that into consideration um, you'll have plenty of time but say you wanted to make these for resale it might not be worth unless you got really good at it, it it might not be worth the time it takes in order to get the money you want you know what I mean like something like this if you measured all the time that it took say an hour and a half to two hours and you wanted twenty dollars an hour well you see there then you know that it would be forty to sixty to eighty dollars per set of these roman shades and i don't know of too many people willing to pay that amount so just keep that in mind when you're you're thinking about it for me i'm going to need eleven of these I mean, I love them. I think they're perfect curtains but or shades. But I'm going to need 11 sets. So um, that might be a nice rainy day project. You know, do a set this weekend, maybe a set next weekend. But they do take time. And super gluing them, we're going to find out if that works or not. Because, I mean, as you can see... They do stick, but they stick better to me than they do the fabric. And this has been a, oh, I'm going to say 40 minute, maybe 40 minutes to an hour process of trying to get them to stick. Whoops, this goes over here. Where I want them to stick and not have a mind of their own, which has been the case. But I do have to say... The homemade, the first set of jump rings I made, the, the first homemade set, turned out to be um, better. I mean, they were rougher, but they have a more, um, the, the ring on it is more open and seems to work better. And they seem to glue better, so I don't know. Well, anyhow, this is the process of getting these little guys super glued and then we might be lucky enough to get them strung so it might be a go today folks we might actually get to see how they're gonna whoops well, that was dumb I didn't want to put it on the I'm so used to using a um, toothpick to glue with that uh, I messed up. Um, so I still have a few of these yet to go. But I think they're actually going to be pretty good. And then we'll string them. String them on here. I'm hoping that super glue holds, guys. I mean, because it is a definite process of getting these stuck in the right spot. But see, yeah, I like these. I like that first set. I thought well, I would need to improve them, but apparently they're okay. So we're going to be ready to, in the next clip, we'll be adding the wooden piece here and I've marked it 
I've already marked it. That's not the greatest way to mark a board, but I kind of sort of know where my beads will be, and I'll probably remark that because obviously where I started out and where I am now are not the same. Okay, guys, I have two more beads to add here. One, two. And we're, when we come back, we'll be actually, hopefully, at the point one, if I could watch me be one short, two. Nope, we're perfect, spot on. Okay, so when we return, we'll be doing, I'll have to do some more jump rings, homemade. And then we'll be doing the wooden board. We'll be drilling that and adding the string and give it a test drive and then immediately after that test drive we will be doing the hopefully if I can get my Cricut to behave we'll be doing the Lambroquin valance and covering it with the corresponding fabric over there on that on that stack yes that stack so I may need to produce four more jump rings. The jury's still out, but they do work pretty good. They do work pretty good. Okay, so there's that last one, guys. Oops, that one spun on me. Turn around there, Bubba. Okay, so I'm going to let these dry while I upload the next video. Thanks for liking, thanks for watching, Keep please, please comment and keep subscribing. Thanks folks. Happy crafting!